The first thing that we need to do is set up our Worklight server instance. Using the command line API, we will use the Worklight create server method and we'll give it the name my server. Once our server has been created, we can go into that directory and now add an API for the native application to begin communicating with. So we use Worklight add API. It's going to first ask us for an API name and we'll call that my native API. This can really be anything, but it should probably indicate you know, what you're communicating with. So give the name related to whatever app you're building. And we need to select a platform and I will choose iOS. This has now generated the native API that we'll be able to, to use in our Xcode project. The next step is we need to make sure the Worklight server is running. So we'll use Worklight start. This will start the server. Next, we need to build the server project. And finally, we need to deploy it to the Worklight server. Now that our Worklight server project has been deployed, let's launch the Worklight console just to make sure everything was deployed correctly. And you can see here in my Worklight console, we've got my native API application. We can see it was last deployed and we can see the status of it.